So Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do a uh, parallel array. So parallel array is a low tech way for doing um, process data. Uh, we can use a class, uh, which if you use class, each one will be a field of a class. So name average will be a, 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 a field of the class. Then we process with the function. But the class take a lot more space. So we can use a low tag way. It's called parallel array. Um, the requirement is this two array has to be exactly the same size. So two or more array that contain the related data. Subscript you use to relate. So, so here we have name and average. So um, this is much easier to process and very, very, very fast. If you have like a million or thousand the information you want to process as a factory or, or online store, this is fast. Uh, customer enter it, they will go right away. We know um, they match instead of call a class. Very, 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 very careful thing is this. Very, very careful thing is this. If you, you need to match them carefully. Uh, so we don't want to, you know, make a mistake. So Kenny's, uh, Kenny's uh, number, Kenny's number and uh, name and will be mm, have a, a Victor's gray, something like that. We don't want to do that. Okay. So make sure we understand this. All right. So once we know that, then uh, parallel array, uh, we have one is McDonald's mm, mm, uh, mail, make the mail, mail and their price. So we make here right now. So we have a mail name, hamburger, nugget, Big Mac, Thai, ice cream, ice coffee, and we provide the price. So here you need to know is a hamburger is uh, match to three, nugget match to four through the subscript. If you through a subscript, then uh, we already show you how to do it. All right, so let me uh, <coughs> come in now this one and move this one, control X and to here, control V. All right, so I copy paste a lot. So sometimes I make a bunch of mistakes. All right, so I build it. And I start without debugging. So this way, I was able to say, no, remember they match, remember they match, all right? So I was able to the our name, all right? And the price is three. So they are related by the subscript. Again, we need to make this more beautiful, okay, in the future, okay? So this is the way we do it. Now, we also need to learn important thing is this. Again, I need to copy paste. Just don't make me make any mistake. Control uh, X, yeah, control V here. And so I copy paste a lot, so I make mistakes. So Victor, you are smart, check for me. So right here, what we need to do is we are going to see how do you call a, a array. When you call array, you know, we do void display menu, right? So again, this is string, you must do string. You are not allowed to put a number inside. If you put a number inside, it's confused. They will know, oh, you just want specific uh, 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 number. No, you just want entire array. Then when you call this, you pull like this way. All right, so this is display McDonald menu. Let's display the price. Okay, let's display the price. So after I display these, after I display these, and I'm going to say CL, all right, uh, 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 the price. All right, so we're going to put like this way. All right, then we do the same thing. Now I am going to go uh, uh, display, make the price right now. You understand? So help me right now. Tell me what should I do first. I'm going to write 
the function here and it's void. Don't for, don't forget I have to go after this void and display uh, make the price make the price p r i c make the price and make the price are uh, double so double all right and is uh, we call what we call p that's called p okay call p so this is how it do I display and make the price. And I passed it in the array. I pass the array. Got it? You pass the array. Once you pass the array here, you want to uh, create definition with a shortcut way. Once you do this right here, then uh, let's copy paste. Where is that thing go? All right, right, uh, right here. Is that right? So I'm going to copy paste. Control C. I'm coming all the way to here. Where is that thing go to? Where that thing go? Uh, let me close it and write it. Okay, so I'm coming right here to write it. It's okay, and so now it's P now. It's okay, so I'm going to say this is price. Is that right? And this is called P. So far, okay. So that's a name, and now that's a price. All right, coming back right here. So I am going to display my price. How do I write it? This display and price. All right. So what should I put inside? Anybody? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Yes, Perry Aaron, I'm proud of you. You put price. That's it. All right, you put price. All right, so that's coin right now. It's okay. Now that's coin right now. So build it. And start without debugging. So I forgot. I forgot to write the menu and the price. Okay. Understand right now? Let's go back to review this. Do you want to check this program? Let me quick review and let you see the program. Okay, then I can delete that. So right here, we talk about passing the array. If you pass the individual one, I'll show you. But passing the entire array is here. Just make sure you have a data type and square bracket. That's all. All right. The function call, call the name only. Function call call the name only. All right. Function call call the name only. All right. So, uh, do you want to take this program and let me delete the rest of them? We got too many things all, all the time. I have mistake here. I need to delete this. All right. So everybody, so far okay. Do you want to check this program quickly? And again, I'll I'll zip it for you. Okay. Well, when I zip it, I I probably need to change it to demo one. Okay. So anyway, so far, okay, do you understand right now? All right. All right, now let's do the last one. Last one is two-dimensional array, two-dimensional array, okay? When we do two-dimensional array here, uh, sort of like mathematics, okay? You have matrix system. But uh, uh, row start from zero, column start from zero. Got it? Mm, okay. So um, then the way you put it is this. How many rows? Then you just put big one. All right. So if I put how many rows here, how many rows here, then two rows. So I have two square bracket. Got it right now? Yes or no? Okay. So let me show you right now. Let me show you how to do it. Okay. So first of all, that's coming back. So first coming back. All right. So I'm coming back here and I want to have a array like this. Okay. Okay, let me use uh, my Microsoft Word. Okay, let me get the words right here. Pop out. Alright, so I, I'm just going to insert a table, it's okay. And 
smaller, not too many. Okay, how about that? All right, so I'm going to put this right now. And I'm going to put some number, 10, uh, 20, uh, 30, 40, and then 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, take a look at this, boys and girls. Okay, take a look at this. All right, so now let's learn how to, let's learn, that's a small tiny one. So it, it really is two row by four column. Okay, so how do you write it? How do you write it? Okay, so that's coming back. Remember that number, two row by, all right. So what you're going to do is here. You are going to first coming back here you're going to say integer num, okay? Two, two of these, two of these. Oh, I just need to write, 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 too terrible. Two of these, is okay? Write two of these. All right, so first put a super big bracket and put a uh, n percent at the end. All right, how many rows? Who can tell me how many rows? Uh, if I pull on my Word, Microsoft Word, how many rows? Two rows. So two square, two square break inside. One and comma and two. Okay, got it right now. All right. So the first row has how many numbers? First row has how many numbers? Four. So pull that four number right there. The way separate by comma okay the eliminator is a comma so 10 20 30 40 got it and the other one here is what 50 60 70 80 all right so far okay right now all right everybody doing fine right now and now for the uh, for the parallel array, they are more pickier because that's more com uh it's a little bit more complicated. Now then tell me what should I put right here? The first number is for row. The first number is for row. What should I put? Parry top two? What's the second number I need to put? Four. Oh sorry. Four. Alright? Got it right now? Hey, eh, yes or no? All right. So this is two. This is two D two dimensional array. To display the two dimensional array, let's do display right now. Okay. So first, uh, I need to do for two for loop. Is that okay? So four. Tap over. Then I'm going to do another four. Tap over. Is that okay? So here, I'm going to here, right here. So integer, okay? I equals zero. And here, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do row. Is that okay? Then I'm going to copy this, this here. I'm going to change the integer, okay? And I'm going to change this to J. And I'm going to change this to four. And also change this to J. Okay, and change this to J. All right, got it? Then I'm going to put the thing, control X, and cut it inside here. So I have I and J right now. It's okay? I and J right now. So I am going to do this. I'm going to add, um, uh, see how that width, okay? Set width. Okay, I'm going to set width as, uh, um, let me put as uh, A. A is B. Maybe not, but we're going to fix later, okay? Uh, once we do that. All right. So uh, the the first row, uh, you're going to write a number. Is that right? So you're going to see how. All right. So it's what? Num, then I, comma, uh, comma, J. Is okay? J. So far okay? Then when you finish, 
when you finish each row then you going to see our end of line understand so the once you write down the first row then you write second row got it once you find the first row and you write second row let's build it right now and start without debugging all right so you see 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 this we can fix with set set uh, with um, better nice if you put set with the right bar will be good so do you understand yes or no all right so uh, i am going to do this right now uh i am going to uh uh say this called print array is okay so that's coming back here right now i'm going to say this all right so when you when you passing uh when you passing the uh uh two dimensional array to a function you, you need to um at least give the colon you understand so uh so right here um like a void get exam all right get exam here all right so you have two of these and you must give the colon that's a rule because uh, microsoft did not do co too good before so this is a must have okay so let me show you right now so that, that that's a display we are going to display this uh, uh 2d array okay so i'm going to write here right now i'm going to say boy display uh 2d array how about that i'm just going to say that okay display 2d array is that right okay uh, let me just don't know, display num okay about here display num my 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 num is an integer right so m is an array so i'm going to put like num and one and two okay put like this right now all right so listen when you do one dimensional array you can just put empty you can put empty if you're going to put double dimension then you see the red red wriggling is in the colon so they must it is required row is empty is fine row empty is fine colon cannot be empty that's not your fault that's not my fault that's original when they did when they designed this program already like that they make that as a count so we we have to do there's no way we you just need to memorize Okay, let's go to our quick action. All right, so quick action here. Okay, let's copy paste this whole thing. Is that okay? Where's that thing? Yeah, right here. Is that right? Control X. Okay. Control V. All right. So right here, but it's not called in num. It's called n. It's called n okay it's going to end right now and so we're going to close this i'm going to close this all right so now i have that i display my make a d name uh let me put right here say uh cl uh, uh, uh display uh make uh what uh, this display um uh meal menu okay sorry menu okay fine all right so we got menu right here now we got this right now we're going to display our uh 2d array right so i'm going to say display my number here and here i am just going to pull this is that right and num okay and that's it you don't need to worry about anything the only thing you must worry is when you pass here you need to give a four otherwise 
they, you must give the column number. The row number doesn't matter. And why is like that? No reason. Because when they design it first, they design like this way. Just like when you say Apple is Mazana, you just don't ask me why it's called Mazana. Okay? All right. So build it. We just need to know the rules. And start without debugging. All right. Got it right now. And we need to make this a little bit nicer. Okay? We didn't make that nice enough. So, so far, okay. And so this one, we talk about parallel array. It's a low tech, quick, easy one to process data. You will love it. If you need to process data all day long, all day long, you just need to process data. Don't bother to do class, just do parallel array. But the thing is, you need to be very, very careful, okay? They match nice. And you want to pass array by the name, by the address, because you don't want to actually pass the entire array. That's horrible. That wastes your time. So initialize two-dimensional array. Um, can you do three-dimensional array? Of course, yes. Array has three or more dimensions. We just don't want to continue waste our time to do that. You, you, you even have a 10-dimensional array. That's called numerical analysis. Okay, then you do different way to do that. All right. So we'll leave 8.11 to a next video. So, so far, um, I hope you understand the concept and you like the video.